All right, what's going on, YouTube? This is the Back to the Rotten Forest on Veteran Mode. This is the Elite Challenge, of course. And for our hero, we have a starter hero, obviously maxed out. And for our upgrades, you should have everything upgraded at this point because we have beaten the game. Um, I chose the tanky guys over the guys with spears for the reinforcements. Let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, welcome back. So to start off with this level, we are going to build a mausoleum right in the center area. And we're going to get all the way up to level 4. We're going to have a hero stand in the top lane, and we're going to build another mausoleum over in the center towards the top. And we're going to call the wave in really quickly. Now, I just went ahead and plopped down my reinforcements. These are ghosts, so we get introduced to these new enemies called ghosts, and they cannot be t attacked by any um, physical damage, so like archers, artillery, barracks, hero. Those won't attack them. Now, if you, you do get a random chance when you put your reinforcements on to get a pit lord, and like you can see, I got a pit lord the first two times, which is actually quite lucky. Um, they will shoot their little fireballs, and these will, those will damage ghosts, but everything else will not. So it's kind of don't even bother if, if you know to try to stop the ghost with the with the reinforcements most of the time because you won't get it. But sometimes I just did it because I had nothing else to do with that first wave. Now for the second wave, we put a archer tower and a barracks at the bottom. I chose the harassers because I need I like their damage, and I feel like against these skeleton guys you really want the archers to do damage to them and we're already at the third wave here i just called in things really early you notice this is since this is the, our first elite challenge of the series the elite challenges are a lot harder than the normal challenges the waves come in much quicker there's more enemies and they're just they're usually just harder challenges um much trickier usually to find the solution things need to be there's a lot like less margin for error i find but notice at the top I upgraded all the way, so we have now have a level 4 mausoleum going into wave 4. And that's going to be really important to kill off these ghosts. It's okay if you see a couple ghosts slip by, because notice these purple crystal things. You, you can click on those, and they will deal damage to enemies. And do not underestimate how much damage these things do, because it's quite significant. And they will kill off these ghosts. And we also, because we have a fully upgraded everything... You have these little Tesla coils, you can see at the ends, those will do a little bit of damage to enemies occasionally. They have like a recharge, basically, after, so if you've seen them zap an enemy, there's a good chance it won't be zapping an enemy for a while. So wave 5, we have the most annoying enemy in the game, which I've, are these werewolves. And the reason why these are so annoying is because they are fast, they do a ton of damage to your, well, reinforcements and hero, and they're just generally hard to kill. Um, I'm just moving here around to you know pick off enemies as needed. I try to choke everything at the bottom. You can see I upgraded the barracks there. And I'm trying to just move a hero to the top to help deal with some of these werewolves. Um, I do end up using, well, he ends up, yeah, he uses the purple crystals to finish off these werewolves. And I try to call on the wave a little bit early. So level four mausoleum in the center should be by wave four. Going into wave six, you should have a level 4 archer tower. This is really, really important to have that level 4 archer tower to help kill these skeletons here. If you're, you should, your defense should look something like this um, at by wave 6, and it's gonna, you'll have a pretty, uh, pretty good time with it. Now, I also went ahead and cleared away these, um, I guess, rotten branches, and I put a mausoleum there. Another interesting quirk about this level is you get these really annoying uh, little roots. And you can see I had to pay 20 gold to clear that space up, and I could put a tower there. They will grow back over your tower like that just did. And it doesn't completely shut the tower down, but it does dramatically reduce the rate of fire of the tower. So it basically, like, yeah, it just shuts down the DPS of the tower pretty much. And unlike the fires from the Denosis Castle, these things do not go away. So you will eventually have to pay that 20 gold if you ever want to use the tower again like you originally used it, which of course you're going to have to use the tower. So later on at this level, you'll see me clicking very quickly, or I guess if you're on a phone, you'll be touching very quickly. And you will want to always you know, keep these things at max DPS to help deal with some of the, to most of the enemies, because it gets a little bit hectic towards the later waves. So you're going to want that to be always using, um, always, always firing at max efficiency. And you can see I'm just clearing off the enemies at the bottom, and I'm going to rotate my hero to the top to help deal with these things. These bone carriers, these are like our tanky golem things, and they do a fair amount of damage. They're also very, very heavily armored, so you have to have the mausoleums in order to do damage to them. 
And I'm just stalling them out. My hero, our hero does a pretty good job of stalling these things. And you can see immediately, once the towers become overgrown, I'm just chopping away those roots. And our goal is just to try to stall these golems out and hold them within the range of the mausoleums as long as possible. And this uh, level 4 archer tower is doing a really good job of taking care of the skeleton guys because the little skeleton guys um, don't have a lot of armor and they they just they need to die very quickly so that's what the archers are for. Now the couple ghosts slip by, again that's no big deal, we have the crystals at the bottom to take care of them. You can see me kill both of them there. And my hero should be stalling out the golem guys, just uh, I was focusing on the bottom for a second. Now the werewolves are a problem so I would just focus on the werewolves as much as you can. Really want to try to see like world slip by, which means I'm gonna have to rotate my hero down to the bottom. Unfortunately, um, because of the mausoleum, it's gonna take care of the golem, so he should just die. Uh, and we really have to be careful; these werewolves don't slip by. At wave ten, they, we start to see them spawn again, and they're very, very dangerous enemies. They can cost you a life. I've lost so many games to these things, so just uh, just be wary of these things. Otherwise, I th think the golems are actually not that big of a problem, as long as you have enough mage towers to handle them. And at this point I go ahead and set up a quick defense at the bottom. I put an art, uh, another mausoleum, an archer tower, and then a barracks in this order here. And we're going to be just having our hero handle these werewolves. And they, werewolves, the most effective way to kill the werewolves is to have a fully upgraded archer tower. Mausoleums don't, they have a little bit of magic resist, so it's better to just focus on the archers. They don't have a lot, they die fairly quickly if you focus them, but you do have to focus them. Um, and again, I dropped the soul impact here just to kill off this golem guy. I didn't think I had enough magic here to deal with him quickly, so I was going to go ahead and kill him. Uh, the, we're just having mass spams of ghosts at the top, and we're just, um, I think we have enough DPS to clear these things up, but I'm just like looking for these roots, and if I see them overgrown, I will uh, remove the roots, but I know this so at the top there you can see there's two root, two roots to clear up, so I do that. Well, I do one of them. I'm waiting on the other one. But the bottom my hero is just kind of tanking these things. The skeletons are fairly easy to tank out if you have your hero. Does a really good job of that. So, um, yep, and then just upgrade your DPS as you need to. Pretty easy going into wave 12. But it's about to get it's about to get a pretty intense here in a second. And you can notice there's like there's two lanes and there's a lot going on. So prioritize as you feel need as you need to. Um, the werewolves I think are like like, like I said pretty key priority. Uh, making sure you have enough towers to deal with these golems also very important. Your hero can rotate back and forth. Just make sure he's being useful. And bottom lane that last golem will die. One of the, they'll go th see this little pathway in these trees. They're gonna appear, they go from the top plane and they show up at this bottom lane here, right where those elven archers are standing, or the harassers are standing. Right now I have my hero in the center, trying to stall out this little choke point. And I drop a soul impact to kill off some of these skeletons. And I'm clearing up some of the overgrown towers and I will call in the wave fairly early here. There we go, just to get a little bit of a reset on our hero power. And now with three fully upgraded mausoleums and two more on their way to being level four, we have plenty of magic power. So we're just having a hero tank a little bit. The bottom lane is holding fairly nicely. Thankfully we have it because we have the upgraded harassers. Now I gave up on the top lane, I just rotated my hero down to the bottom because I knew with these golems here we're going to have to kill them. And a fully upgraded archer tower now on the bottom. Help kill some of these skeletons off. Usually what I'll do is prioritize the little stuff, like if there's a lot of little stuff and a few big things, I will try to prioritize on the skeletons first, like that's why I moved my hero over here. I knew these golems since they're big and very slow. Um, they're usually easy enough stalled. If, if they're stalled out a little bit, the mage towers can usually finish them off, as long as you can kill off the small stuff. So that's what we're doing. Um, again, overgrown things. Just try to, as soon as you see them overgrown, try to clear it off. 
if they're within range. A level 4 Archer Tower now coming out at the bottom, in the center there. And eventually all this stuff will be upgraded, so another mausoleum coming up at the bottom as well. And I'm just, there's the last guys are spawning. So we're, we're killing up these skeletons very quickly. The Archer Tower will make pretty short work of them if they're once they're fully upgraded. And now we have a fair amount of cash to spend. So it'll be up to you in order to use your cast efficiently here going into these final two waves. And I think this is really the main, the hardest, the uh, well, the final test. If you can deal with the couple tricky waves getting up to this point, it's going to be how based the success, whether or not you beat this game without losing any lives or beat this level, is going to de depend on how well you use your money from this point on. So if you can, I put a point into the DPS, so I maxed out the DPS on our main mausoleum tower there. Because I knew it's going to hit both sides, so it's going to be a really useful tower. I'm quickly un, um, clearing up those roots here as the enemies come in range of the towers. And I'm going to drop a soul impact here as these enemies start to clump up. Again, those warlocks are very, very annoying. And I'm just focusing, I'm putting more points into the DPS because I know this. The DPS is very, very useful here. Getting extra spectrals on those mausoleums. So nice. And I'm trying to stall things right before they go into the choke point because I had the mausoleum towers right there. So if they can, if the enemies can get stalled out before they go into the woods, and the more damage they can take before they get to the other side, the better. And I'm just kind of looking around, seeing what I can upgrade. I'm trying to pay attention to this bottom area because these war these warlocks will come, will charge right through if you're not careful. And we do end up upgrading the bottom barrack tower. And our hero is just kind of standing in the center. You can see he's just trying to stall out that little choke point. Doing a fairly good job of killing some stuff. And bottom werewolves are keep just uh, just keep coming. So make sure you pop your gems or your crystals as often as possible. Another thing I started to do after I focused on the DPS is I put these gala or the gargoyles out from the mausoleums just as a way of stalling out enemies. The harassers, they do a lot of damage because of their bows, they don't, they aren't particularly tanky. So I, bu I built a bunch of the gargoyles as a way of stalling out a little bit longer. And again, just popping crystals out, I noticed these guys are starting to get fairly close on the top, so I moved my hero over to help deal with them. Um, quickly paying, or clearing up these mausoleums if they get overgrown. And we're about to enter the final wave here. We have enough damage, thankfully, to take care of this last golem. And things are looking fairly manageable. I'm not going to call the wave super fast. I do, well, it gets about three quarters before I call it in. And here we have the final wave. So hopefully you put it some points into the gargoyles. Hopefully you have enough DPS to handle with the, the tanky stuff. Our hero died, but we have, um, between the gargoyles and our mausoleums, we should be fine here. Until he respawns. And... Again, just more more gargoyles coming out, clearing up this overgrown stuff. Clear up the archer tower, the bottom rotating a hero because I think that the bottom area is going to be very urgent. The top pretty much will handle itself at this point. Thanks to all the gargoyles and the the harassers, just going to be a very tanky place for enemies to get through. And we're going to get we're preparing basically for enemies to come down towards the bottom. So we're clearing up the overgrown. We're putting points into these corrupting arrows. And this is like our final hold here. Getting a good soul impact, killing off quite a few things. And max trying to max out a little bit on our archer towers. If you can, I would just throw everything into these um, gargoyles and then the corrupting arrows on our archer tower. And the top is holding just fine. And the end is in sight, so if we can kill these remaining enemies off, we will be good to go. Our hero is still alive, all, well is, all is good. I also just pointed some points into the crows just for fun because I'm like, well, we, we pretty much won, so. And the last couple guys are dying. Get back there. You're not getting going anywhere. And that is it. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you found that helpful. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.